Are your candy petals feeling a little rough? It's probably time for a refresh. Hi, I'm Sebastian with Crank Brothers, and today we're gonna to get your Candy 7 pedals feeling like new again by installing a pedal refresh kit. Let's get into it. You're going to need a few tools for the job. 14 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, eight millimeter socket, ratchet, hammer, eight millimeter and six millimeter hex, T25, box cutter or pick, small flathead, grease, your pedals and refresh kit. We'll link the correct refresh kit in the link below. First step is to remove the end cap assembly and the eight millimeter nut behind the end cap. Use the eight millimeter hex to brace the spindle to remove the nut so you can get inside the pedal. Next, take your T25 to remove the body bolts. With these removed, the pedal should pull apart nicely. Keep the wing assembly and sleeve on the side. You will need these for the reassembly later. Inside of each pedal body, there is an O-ring and bushing sleeve that needs to be removed. These can be tricky to remove, box cutter and a flathead work well. To remove your bearings, use a supplied bearing punch and your hammer to extract the bearing. You'll want to use a 14 millimeter socket when the bearing gets flush with the ground for final removal. Now that the pedal is apart, before reassembling everything, give everything a good clean with a cloth. Putting everything back together is simple. We're going to do the reverse of what we just did. Let's start with the inside pedal body Press or slightly tap the Igus bushing using the bearing tap to fully seat it. Next, you need to install the O-ring and bushing sleeve. Note, two millimeter bushing needs to be on the outside of the pedal body and the four millimeter bushing needs to go on the inside half closest to the crank arm. Now you're going to reinstall the wing assembly and sleeves and slide the body screws in, tightening them to six Newton meter. Slide the back O-ring first and the double lip seal second. Note the orientation. Grease the spindle and install the pedal body back onto the spindle. Now you want to take your bearing and eight millimeter nut and tighten it to four Newton meter. Install the end cap assembly and torque to eight Newton meter to finish the job. And when you're done, make sure everything spins freely and nothing binding. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.